What's going on YouTube? It's OK Mall and we're back with episode 4 of our two-handed mace build. For today's episode, we'll knock out two more contracts within Manshire. Currently, we only have the Proselyte Dungeon left, after which we'll have to reset these contracts. And to do that, I'll utilize Varen, since he doesn't charge anything to travel back and forth between Manshire and Osbrook. Outside of that, if we take a look at our inventory, I got a couple of books to drop to the ground, because we're going to be selling these off in Bryn instead. Uh, look down here, uh, plenty of healing supplies for the next dungeon. I do believe... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's going to be the Undead Dungeon. I misspoke, apparently. Not the, not the Proselytes. So, the Undead are next. I don't need to take anything else except for a bunch of food. So, let me take a look here. My health. I am not... I'm not hungry currently, but yeah, we are getting a lot of food to come uh, along with us. Let's go ahead and stop in here talk to the innkeeper. Mr. Elder, is there any work? The unholy ritual? That's a deal. Till next time, that's going to take us straight to the west. I'll meet y'all there. All right, y'all, we just arrived at the deserted crypt. Go ahead and start exploring this place. I'm assuming these undead are going to be able to, uh, to handle... Two-handed mace build. We have a ghoul right off the bat. Come here, little ghoul boy. I'm gonna go right here. Hopefully he positions himself right there so we can push him against the wall. That is not the move I meant to do. Five. I keep on doing this. Uh, wind up. Forceful slam. Or no, sorry. Unstoppable force. Different move. There we go. He's dead. I see another enemy down here. It's a regular uh, zomboid. Uh, number five this time, please. He does have that grab maneuver. And that's I uh, moved too far away. Oh, oh yeah, lovely stuff. <laughs> It's too much fun. Oh, another zombie. You have... He has the other uh, grass maneuver too, so... Five. There we go. Now we're out of energy, which is the problem that we've been running into lately. Yeah, we do have a, a bowman. And a bat. Oh boy. Oh my god, I, I, I got a, an, a, an attack. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. An attack of opportunity and crit him. That's amazing. Five. He has... I, I gotta move. Yeah, I can't have him doing what he was gonna do. Oh, he made us bleed. He crit me? I gotta take care of the bleed. You're still hitting me from this distance. Ridiculous. I just woke up, so I feel like I'm making some mistakes here. Alright. You don't know you know what? I don't see a swords wielder uh mace guy very often. Wait a minute, why'd you step forward? Oh, because he died as soon as I clicked. I'm so dumb. Easy. Nice and dead. Okay, next door up. Now we have the axe wielder. You have the... He, they all have that, uh, that knockback attack. So we wait for it. Wait for it. We're going to do this. Wait. I could go here. Nice. And he's dead. <laughs> Armor is not going to be an issue anymore. Uh, let's see. Short sword. The same exact belt that we have, but this one's enchanted, so we may as well put it on. 
Next room. Now this guy, I don't know what I can do about it. He's still gonna be able to hit me from afar. So, I think he can hit me from there. Yes. I did that wrong. You got one more move to use. I did the wrong order of things. Wow, so strong. <laughs> so strong. Okay, let's pick this lock. That's not too bad. I did bring alcohol with me. The rest of the stuff's garbage though. Next room. That's ah, gonna be easy to take care of. Damage so strong. Okay, let's get that taken care of there. All right, now we gotta move back on. We've already looted these two chests. I'm gonna loot everything else later. Let me take care of this one. Yeah, there's our next room. Nobody's in here? Hello? Hello? There we go. You're gonna die here soon. And you're dead. Next chest. What's that? It's an aquamarine. Alright, uh. So the entrance had like four doors, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, we have a mace wielder now. Alright, I'm gonna fall back to this section. Wait for it. We're using number five. Okay, wait for it. Wind up. Knock him against the wall. Did not work. But we get a counter attack, which is also good. And the rat's dead. Basically the same thing. Another skelly boy and a rat. Okay. Come to me plus. We're gonna hide out here. Okay, rat's dead. Move on, move on. Wind that up. GG, he's dead. Get our energy back. Next room. Another skelly boy. So five, number two. Knock him against the wall. Yeah, he's all messed up. Oh, another one. Ooh, and a counterattack. Let's go. Oh, it's kicking booty and taking names. Get my energy. Oh, we're hungry, finally. Go ahead and eat. Moving on. Oh boy. And seize the initiative. Let's grab this mage up, or this uh, archer. Archer's dead. Rest yet again. There's two people in here. Oh, it's just a bunch of <laughs> trash. Um, five. Wait for it. That's dead. Seize the initiative. Everybody died. The same hit. Lovely. Well, the boss isn't down here, so we have to go back towards the entrance. Okay, we have two skeleton boys. Make that three. All right. Wait for him. We're gonna wind up. Use uh, our number three. Followed by seize the initiative. He's dead. Wait for it. Wind up. Whack him. We're gonna hit number six for our defensive maneuver. Seize the initiative. Slam. He's dead. And the zombie boy's dead. Let me rest up. We're actually going to open the sarcophagus up. And I'm worried there might be a, a ghost that spawns. No ghost. Now coin talisman. Just a little bit of energy. I might actually use that. Uh, this one's a spiked war club. Not, not any better than what we currently have. Yeah, we're going to continue to use what, what we have right now. 
This one's only one for, worth 164. Oh, that's the boss room? Bro, it is. What? That's so silly. He has uh, a resurrection. He's got two enemies up in there. Okay. Well, let's have the skeletons come out to see me. Use that ability. That ability. There we go. Both of them are dead. Let me come up here. Close this door. Close. He just used Curse of Decay. Which isn't bad. That's fine. I can handle this Curse of Decay. As long as my pain doesn't go up, we're good. All right. Um. Let me think here. Pop some alcohol. 46 turns of that. Now he's got to go chase him down. Let's go. All right, he hit us. Oh boy. Seize the initiative. He's dead. Um, I didn't mean to hit number two for being completely honest. Uh, I got to stop hitting the wrong buttons. And there's no freaking chest. Chat, what's going on? Well, seeing as there's no chest, these sarcophaguses better have some good loot in them. Right? That's that's the logic. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. possibly. If I didn't buy soldier's boots, we wouldn't be able to get soldier's boots from this dungeon. How about this side? Okay, still no ghost. That ring sells for 122. Drop one of these down, grab that instead. Okay, this should be the last section. Uh, we do have a spear boy, skeleton spear boy. So do number five, come here. He's gonna get a couple free hits off of us. We'll try to block it as good as best as we can. Slam against the wall, seize the initiative. And he's dead. Another chest. This one's got a rabbit pelt in it. Can't carry it at the time. Let me, uh, five. Knock him back. Seize the initiative. And he's dead, too. Cool. I'm going to go around the dungeon and just loot everything else. I left some sarcophaguses on the ground, a bunch of uh, clay pots and yeah, destructible items on the ground. So I'm going to clear that out, cut anything in that's interesting. Otherwise, I'll meet you all back in town. All right, we're finally back in town. Got my reward. Thank you very much. Uh, until next time. So let's go ahead and sell our gear. First place I want to go is down to the uh, blacksmith. Sell a couple of these items here. Um, get my gear repaired, all that fun stuff. So, Mr. Blacksmith, let's see your wares. Go ahead and buy this. Buy these three items, or four items, I should say. Talk to his apprentice. We're going to get everything, so, uh, everything repaired from him. There we go. I got to get this identified. I'm hoping it's really, really good and can re replace our... Uh, Restored a fang amulet, but we'll see. Mr. Priest, uh, buy two ID scrolls. We're gonna use one of those right now. Not cursed, unfortunately. Move resistance and energy restoration. So let me double check here. Character menu. What do we have for accuracy? Right now, accuracy is sitting at 83. Bumbles at 10. This will give us three and three, plus three energy. Plus two energy restoration. What we're losing is crit chance, crit efficiency. Having 3% additional crit chance is nice because our crit chance is actually pretty low at 11%. I don't know. I don't know what I want more crit chance or accuracy. <laughs> Maybe what I'll do for right now, we're actually going to put on the coin talisman. That'll put our accuracy up to 86 and fumble chance down to 7.5. We'll use this until we don't need it anymore. And then we can swap it out to something else. I won't actually sell this. We'll keep it for right now. Now, I almost forgot. 
We actually had this belt to identify. That gave us plus four energy. That was the same belt we had before, right? Yeah, fumble and skill energy cost. Yeah. All right, Gurlot's up next. Go ahead and sell the tied gloves, the rabbit belt, the belt, the brass ring, gold earring, sapphire, or sorry, aquamarines, and the unenchanted coin talisman. There we go. Pretty decent loot. All right, as I mentioned before, to reset the contracts in Manshire, we do have to travel back and forth between Osbrook and Manshire, utilizing Varen as he is completely free. Doesn't cost a thing. This takes about, I don't know, 6 to 12 different runs just before the contracts are fully reset. But we'll work on that next and uh, meet you back here in Manshire to talk to the Elder. All right, y'all, we finally reset all the contracts. It's going to be the Alchemy Kits. That's going to take us back up to the Humanoid Dungeon, just north of us. Uh, I do have inventory, we have some food. By the time we get there, we will have to make a fire, so we're not, um, you know, got 300 stacks of wetness. But outside of that, I'll meet you guys there. Alright, we just arrived at Tower Eastfer, and uh, we're having a staring contest to this uh, Mace Wilder guy here. Pretty funny, actually. So, five... Wind up. Ooh, good hit. He's gonna be running away. Ooh, two hits. Nice. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hit number six here. He missed. Wind up. Seize the initiative. Oh, wow. Everybody's dead. Good stuff. Now we have a Pokey Boy. Oh, and two other guys down here. All right. Let's see how well this goes. It's okay. Nice. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Get wrecked. An archer. Oh. Come back. There you go. Now we're just going to kind of clear out the around the entrance here so we're not getting surrounded. Uh, let's do that move. Seize the initiative, and he should be dead. I'm gonna head uh, down south. Or at least look that now. Head this way. Okay, heading up north next. Oh. Tried to run. Bad idea. Oh, there's a trap there. Number six. We avoided that attack. We'll wind up and whack him in the face. Wait again. And he's dead. Beautiful stuff. Okay, we do have a chest here. I want to get that looted right now. Not bad, not bad. What is that, a deer pelt? Then we have a jade figurine. Cover's gonna be empty. And the nightstand contains a little bit of gold, about 17. We have another archer cont to contend with here. Seize the initiative. Oh, he's dazed. And now he's dead. And we leveled up. GG, perception again. The point there. Oh, there's two floors in this dungeon. Okay. Let me loot this chest, and I'll save everything else for later. Another hunting crossbow, which I think is the exact same that we have. Yeah, yeah, it is. Drop that. Grab the gold coins. Drop everything else off. Got a king's bust and a cloak. Okay, we have a sword. Oh, no, an axe and a board guy in here. Five... Do that. 
We dazed him. Sees. And he's dead. Let me uh, get my energy back. This guy sees us now. Five. Wait for it. Wind up. Knock him against the wall. And he's gonna be dead too. So we have a library up ahead. Cover's gonna have another VV for us. And uh, two handed mace treaties. Uh, tier two. Wasn't that? Yeah, two handed mace treaties too. I didn't already know those. Maces, maces. Two handed maces. Wow, okay. So I've unlocked this early. Now, Bonebreaker will grant two handed mace strikes plus 25% armor damage if the target's armor durability is above 50%. And grant two handed mace strikes 25% body part damage if he has no armor. Oh, or its armor durability is below 50%. Interesting. Okay. Ultimately, I'm trying to get to Skull Crusher as soon as possible. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that up. We have a little library here. Okay, it's going to be empty. Empty uh, bottle of oil. And empty. Uh, burnt out candle. And some lockpicks, which we don't need. Next room up contains an archer and a sword guy. Damn it. That's his first ability down. Good hits. I'm worried about the sword guy. Either way, they're both dead. This one's bleeding. Defend that off. He's dead. And you're dead now. Good damage. Good, good. <laughs> oh. This is possibly the boss room. It is not. That's okay, though. Good knockback. And he's dead. Oh, there's a guy behind me. I better kill him before uh, I open this door up, eh? Is it Ranger? Come on, catch up to him. Okay, he's dead. Pick this chest as we're uh, up in this uh, section. Wardrobe's gonna be empty. What about the nightstands? Bunch of straw. What about this nightstand? A little bit of gold. This is not gonna be the boss room. The dude's too close to the door. And he's dead. And then we have a peasant stew. May as well eat that. How about the nightstand? Empty. Moving on. Here's the boss, finally. We have a ranger, we have a sword, or a mason shield boy. Side out here. Drink a little bit of liquid courage. Wait for it. Do this. Wind up. Knock him into the wall. Okay, so the first guy's dead. That is the boss, I believe. It is. So, let me wind up. I can't use any of my abilities. He tried kicking me. Seize the initiative. Okay, well. Uh, I didn't realize my stuff was on cooldown, otherwise we would have got a better uh, jump on him than he did us. He took some... We, uh, well, we took some damage. But, uh, hey, we're alive. Oh, hello. You're dead. 
All right, now we can get the loot in the boss. Uh, night room or nightstand. Night room. Nightstand's empty. A bookcase got a silver plate. Inside the chest, there's the alchemy kit we were looking for. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this alcohol to the ground. Take the king's bust. Uh, take the gold at least. Drop that. Reorganize. Take the alchemy kits. I'll probably leave the king's bust behind. It's only worth a hundred and takes up four slots. We still have a lot left to, to loot in this dungeon. So, all right, we're back up to the first floor. Wardrobe, nightstand next. Got a little bit of gold in there. Next nightstand's gonna have a pot. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> then we do have a cupboard here. Oh, goodness. Another cupboard. <laughs> Wardrobe, same thing the last. Had a cloth in it. Nightstand's gonna be empty. We do have an archer over here in the corner. I don't know how he hit me. It's ridiculous. Well, he's dead regardless. Bow amulet. Soldier's quiver. Soldier's quiver. <gasps> A soldier's quiver? No. Uh, wow. Okay. I think that's worth a lot. Give me a moment here. Drop, drop. Reorganize. I don't know how much room it's going to take up. Probably another four squares. Um, Drop half of that. How about that? There we go. And soldier's quiver. Wow. No, they can drop this. That's amazing. Good deal. Um, bow amulets. Go ahead and drop. That's worth 40. I think that's worth like a hundred and something. Maybe eat. That's only worth 13. And drop one of the, the bandages. How about that should work. There you go. Bow amulet. And it's worth again 113. Deer antlers? Bro. <laughs> You're making this very difficult. I'll probably under let me uh, finish this dungeon off. What we'll do is drop all the healing salve outside. We'll have room then. Oh, hello. Ooh, good hit. Empty. Another a ranger. Come back here. All right, next room. That is actually pretty big. Another bottle of oil. Oh, okay. Um. Well, he's dead regardless. <laughs> I was a little nervous at first. Like, oh my god. I'm out of mana or out of energy, I should say. Jeez. The rogue couldn't handle it, though. A two-handed sword wielder? He'll come to us. Do that, do this. Big ol' swing. And seize the initiative. Easy peasy. Looks like one final room down here. Just gonna be the prison. Lock that. He's got one more move to use. Wind up. There's a rogue in there in jail? Bro, what are you doing? Let me at least uh, get my energy back while that rogue is over there thinking about what to do. Contemplating his life decisions. Gonna do that. Wind up. I... Did that in the wrong order. Either way, he's dead. Alright, so double check them the dungeon here. If you looted that room. 
This has been looted. I got one uh, crate to break. And then we have a couple things in the entrance. Nightstand's gonna be empty. Break this. The next nightstand. A little bit of gold in there. And now we're finally back to the entrance. The last thing to loot is a nightstand. And that's it. This dungeon's over with. I'll meet y'all back in town. Alright y'all, we're now back in town. And it's time to sell some items. I'm not gonna be using the soldier's quiver. Because we're not gonna be using any bow and arrows. Uh, if anything, we're gonna use a crossbow. Which we haven't been doing lately. But anyway, soldier's quiver, gone, deer pelts, spool of thread, uh, oil, and alcohol. I'll sell to, off to the uh, the innkeeper. Jade figurine, silver plates, bow amulet's gone, the brass agate ring, that's gone. There we go. Now he's got to turn in the contract and sell some uh, oil. Mr. Elder, you're next up. Miss Tilda, about my reward, 510 gold. Gotta love it. All right, little innkeeper lady. Uh, sell, sell, sell. All right, y'all, that'll do it for today's episode. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this shit out with your friends and family. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.